Good morning, everybody, on this last day of April and the last day of our Level 5 lockdown. Of course, uh, we still have Level 4, which is uh, quite severe, uh, for we don't know how long. But at least um, there are some relaxations in these restrictions, and we trust that we will be able to use those uh, for, uh, for good and ultimately for the Lord's glory. Today we want to think about the theme of Christ's power from the perspective of church history. And I want to consider this question as we do that. Why has the gospel spread across the face of the earth? If we go around the world today, we find that there is hardly a <coughs> nation in the world, hardly a country, even small islands, where there are no believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you go to the Comoro Islands, which are one of the most Muslim nations of the world, even there you find that there are true believers. And uh, a couple of few decades ago, I actually spent some time there working with missionaries. And um, there were Comorian Christians, even though very few. But we can ask the question, why is it that the gospel has spread across the face of the earth? And uh, in order to answer that question, I want to go back to the time of the Reformation. Um, it is a time when uh, in the 1500s, um, Protestants were being severely persecuted uh, for their faith because they did not follow the um, widespread uh, state sanctioned um, Roman Catholic religion, uh, they were being uh, severely persecuted and often it felt to them like the cause of the gospel was actually hopeless. And yet, if we go back to that time, we find that John Calvin, who was one of the uh, leaders of the Reformation, especially in the realm of uh, theological formulation, um, made a very interesting statement about the source of hope in the spread of the gospel. And he wrote this, he said, Our chief consolation is this, that this is the cause of God, and that He will take it in hand to bring it to a happy issue. Even though all the princes of the earth were to unite for the maintenance of our gospel, still, we must not make that the foundation of our hope. So, likewise, whatever resistance we see today offered by almost all the world to the progress of the truth, we must not doubt that our Lord will come at last to break through all the undertakings of men and make a passage for His word. Let us hope boldly then, more than we can understand, he will still surpass our opinion and our hope. And let's take particular note of that statement. We must not doubt that our Lord will come at last to break through all the undertakings of men and make a passage for His Word. In other words, Calvin puts his hope in the power of Christ. He expresses confidence that the Lord Jesus Christ who rules on the throne of heaven, will come and will make a passage for His Word and will lead people to understand the Gospel and put their faith in Him. Well now, that was nearly 500 years ago. What has happened since then? Well, we can look around the world and see how many nations in the intervening period have actually turned to Christ. Let's look at our own continent of Africa. And um, Africa is, is the place where the church is growing the fastest. It is uh, one of the, um, it, it is a place where the gospel is, is more established than in many other parts of the world. How is it? that the gospel became established here in Africa? Well, it is because of the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so as we think today about the modern world where often the gospel seems to be declining, we think about Europe, which is 
um, widely uh, referred to as post-Christian. We think of places like North Korea, where um, uh, Christians are, are hounded to death, literally. We must ask ourselves, what is the hope that the gospel may be re-established or established for the first time in these places? And the answer is that our hope is in the power of Christ. We must not doubt that our Lord will come at last to break through all the undertakings of men and make a passage for His Word. And so let me encourage you today to bear these thoughts in mind and to pray for the nations of the world, pray for our own nation that the gospel might be established. And as you pray, remember, Jesus Christ reigns on the throne of heaven and He will come and He will make a passage for His word. God be with you today. Amen.